Aaron. I'm Mark Mellinger. There's only a week left until America casts its vote, and this election will certainly stand out in the history books. That's right. We could see the first African-American commander-in-chief, the oldest president elected into office, or the first female VP. How do those scenarios sit with local voters? Here are the results of our exclusive News Channel 15 News Sentinel poll. We talked to News Channel 15's political analysts about the poll, which indicates age, race, and gender don't matter much these days. I thought this was the most wonderful part of the poll. It showed that we have made progress in the last 20 to 25 years. When asked if they think the country's ready for an African-American president, 79% of likely 3rd District voters said yes. Only 9% said no. The News Sentinel's Kevin Leininger says those numbers don't surprise him, but there may be something called the Bradley effect at play where African-American or other minority candidates tend to track a little bit better in polls, maybe by four or five percentage points than they finally do on election day because people tend not to want to look like racists when they're talking to pollsters. I think there's a reverse to that going on. I think there are a number of, of discreet conservatives that are sitting in their, in their offices, uh, more likely than not, uh, uh, thinking, I'm not real sure I want someone in charge of the presidency that's uh, a little older, a little, little uh, uh, not a certain, made some decisions they didn't like, and they may well vote for Obama, who had never thought about it before. We then asked, at the age of 72, is John McCain too old to be president? An overwhelming majority, 88 percent, say he's not. There are about 1.2 million people in this state, 55 and older. So this state skews a little, a little bit older than, uh, than other places might. We got over the age thing with Reagan. Uh, you know, everybody said he was too old. He served two terms. And then there's the possibility that a woman would become the first vice president of the United States. 84% of those surveyed say America's ready for that. It just seems like some of the old stereotypes have, have fallen by the wayside as more and more you see women in senior positions of power.